Yo, welcome back. So it's Sunday. I know I said on the last video I was going to do the fuse board on the Saturday. However, there was a few extras added on by the customer. So I did that yesterday because it was all second fix related, like extra sockets here and there and stuff like that. So, and yeah, it just took a bit longer than expected. But we move a bit. So next week, I'm on a rewire week with Nick. The week after that, I'm fully booked. And then I'm already working every weekend as it is. So I'm like, well, it's going to have to be today, Sunday, because I want to get this job done, smashed out, tested. Done. So here we are, on a Sunday, working. So what we've got in the garage, the lads brought through yesterday, which we've got a double socket going there. I'm going to cut it in a nice fast fix flush one and one there. We've got a four foot LED strip going up there. So obviously it's going here. You can see the old one used to go that way, but that was no good when the garage door was up. Um, obviously the garage used to be a lot bigger. So we've got some four inch trunking, some 25 mil conduit. So the four inch trunking is going to go just here, going all the way up. And then we've got a Verso fuse board going on here. Armour cable is powered to the sheds, which we ran in through the ceiling. The 25mm conduit is going to butt into that trunking and go all the way across. And then the fuse board, the main fuse board, is just the other side of this wall here in the kitchen area. So I need to drill through. And currently, there's a 6mm here, which used to feed the old garage board. But the customer wants like extra sockets, a commando socket to charges, caravan and stuff like that, like the leisure battery. So we said, and eventually I'm going to update the house fuse board as well. So I said, I'd rather run a 10 mil into this board. So you've got a bit more power to it. And then I'll run a 10 mil earth to it as well. Because obviously in a 10 mil cable, you only get a six, is it six or four? Four, I think, four mil earth. So I'll run a 10 mil earth to it as well. So then you've got a better earth. First job. I'm going to be a bit noisy. The neighbours are going to hate me. Let's cut this out, this OSB or whatever it is. So I'll mark these up, get these cut out, pretty much the same as last video. Get the Verso sockets on. One of them is a lap, I believe, USB double socket, which the customer wants me to fit. So I'll do that, get them on and done, and then we'll tackle the fuse board. That's them on. So we've got a Verso double socket there. And then we've just got a lap screw fix one with two USBs, just because they're having workbenches all the way along here. So next, I'm just going to put that light up. So literally five minute job, that'll be in and done. And then moving on to this masterpiece. So yeah, I'm still, I've already planned it all out in my head, which obviously takes the time. And then, uh, yeah, got a 20 mil conduit in the van as well to drop down there for a switch to operate that light. So it's nice and accessible. And then this old twin and earth here, the old colors is a link cable, well, a switch cable to an old outside light outside the front of the garage. However, I'm gonna change that light at a further date when I come back another date to do some power in the sheds, which I've already ran the feed into, and then also hook up a commando socket on an armored cable, which is gonna be fed off this fuse board to charge a caravan. Well, motorhome thing, just like trickle charge it to keep the um, leisure battery going, because obviously now it's coming into winter. If you don't do that, it kills them off. Lights on. Jobs are good and onto this now. So I've unraveled all the cables, sorted out what's what, looked how much length we've got, measured up the trunk in, cut the trunk in. Jobs are good and so obviously cut edge, put at the top, even though it's a good square edge, still put it at the top and use the manufactured nice clean edge uh, at the bottom. Don't really matter, but it's just you always, the manufactured edge is always going to be better unless you're like cutting it on like a band saw or chop saw or something like that. But I used the multi-tool because that's what I had. So yeah, another little tip as well. Scribble or put a little star on the inside on both sides. So when I rip this lid off now, I know which side's my cut edge compared to the manufactured edge. So it just marries up nice. So my trunk in, I'm going to get that mounted. It's going to go from there all the way down to around where these red plugs are around here. Get the board. I've got some 20 mil metal couplers to space the board off. So the trunk in can go flush onto the board and then the cables can tuck in behind. The armoured, I'm going to glance straight into the top of the board in the trunk in as such, just so it's all hidden. And then we're going to have eventually an armoured glanded into the bottom of the board on show. But it's going to be a nice storm gland or something like that. Um, what I've done as well is squared that cut off where the builders have chipped this bit of plasterboard off. So I've squared that off so the trunk in will sit perfect in there. Um, that bit of plaster is loose, but they're all going to patch this in. So I'm just leaving that as make good at the end, the, the uh, builders can. So yeah, what I'm going to do is cut some holes in this trunk in, get some fire rated clips in there and get that all mounted and we're getting there. 
Drum kids all mounted with the fire ratings, probably a bit excessive the amount of clips I put in it, but I wanted it nice and secure. I can know these pipes are driving me mad, so I've already abandoned them back out of the way because, yeah, I nearly uh, did a pass for a moment and wanted to cut them out of the way, but I thought, no, I'll be nice, I'll just put them out of the way. Um, yeah, job's good and really, that's really nice, I'm really happy with that. Obviously, it's nice and level. Every, everyone looking at that now is thinking, nah, that ain't level, bro. But you look at that. Can't get any better than that in my eyes. So jobs are good and what I'm going to do is land in 25 mil conduit into there and the 20 uh, and then they'll both run along there. And then the 20 will drop down there to a switch which will operate the garage light which is this really long one mil dangling all the way down there. I will tidy up all this mess and the builder's mess, don't worry. So then the 25 will go all the way along and that will be the feed into the fuse board with the 10 mil earth. So I'm going to go inside, drill out and uh, do a bit of conjure work, okay? Eh? I'm thinking I'm gonna do this first, then I'm gonna mount the fuse board. Well, that was not fun. This is not finalized yet, hence, it's not only got your saddles in it, hence it's flapping around, so is this one. But that's what I'm going for, so nice, neat, like that, all the way across. Don't know why you can see that, but that's the mains incoming cable, and there was already like a bit of a hole there, but I've just, it was like sealed up, so I've just exposed it all, managed to like drill through right next to the mains cable, which was obviously a bit, bit sketchy but i managed to do it because i'm amazing call me artist on angle drilling so then there's going to be a new like adaptable box there which i'm landing that 25 mil white conduit into and then the fuse boards either side the wall there so it's all going to be going through a 10 mil twinning earth and a 10 mil bonding cable even though i'm not using it as a bonding cable just a better earth to this new fuse board going into the garage um so yeah we're getting there but just trying to do that in and out in and out in and out double check i'm not hitting the mains cable was not fun. So, yeah, that's eaten a lot of my time. And now I need to go and get a bigger adaptable box because originally I just planned to fit, obviously, a, a box like that up there. But obviously, because I've exposed a lot more now, I'm going to go and get some sealant, like some fire foam or something, seal it back up, get a bigger adaptable box. I don't think I've got one in the van. I've got the big black whisker boxes, but obviously, landing white conduit into. Mm, I could do that. Nah, I needed like a big white, like adaptable box of some sort. So, yeah, we're getting there. Next, I'm going to unbox the board, mount the board, and uh, see how that positions. And here we have it. So, this is my idea with the conduits. Conduits? What do you call these? 20 mil couplers. So, using them to space off the board that amount, so then the trunking will sit flush. So, let's open her up. Verso board, nice. So we've got main switch, 32 amp MCB, which feeds the SPD, which that all shifts across over there normally. That's where it sits. It's just rattled around a bit in the packaging. So then we've got six usable ways, and I think we're only taking up about four, but I'll probably put the breakers in anyway because we've got future work here, and they're going to require 20 amps. So I've got some, I'll bang them in. That's the lid off, so what we've got here is some grommet strip and then verso boards come with this like plastic pushing trim, to be fair, I'll probably use that. I've already changed my mind, like usual. So what I've decided is I'm just gonna mount it nice and flush on this popcorn render, because I think if you space it off, it's just gonna look silly. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit more work, but what I'm gonna do is keep one of those 20 knockouts in the back left over there. I don't know why you can see that down there use the that one for the armored gland obviously so we get a good connection and then the other ones i'm just going to cut a bit of a loop out like a circle in the top there of the fuse board grommet strip it up and bring all the cables in the top bit of top entry so yeah that will be absolutely mint there don't think anyone can whinge at that that is nice and low accessible been back to the drawing board changed a few things around so what we're doing is using Cutting that square out, the big square, and then keeping that as the armoured gland. So that will sit there like so. And they'll see eventually some at the bottom. So that'll be jobs of Gordon. Got a metal blade in the multi tool, gonna to cut that out now. Grommet strip it up, super glue it on, super fast it on with the CT1. And then uh, get this mounted. I've marked it on the wall as well, nice and level. So 5.5 five, plug it, red plug it to the wall. Use some big screws, got some big dirty screws in there with some washers. So get it on the wall, and then it's a case of the nice easy bit. 
electricians love, the actual second fixing bit. Wiring it all off and getting the breakers in. Nice and easy, eh? Now's the fun bit. Let's get cut in. Let's make sure I've got metal. Oh, wooden plastic. Of course it's wooden plastic. Two seconds, let me change the blade. There we go, that's all changed. Get my safety glasses on. Right, they're on. Let's uh, let's get cutting. I could actually, no, I'm gonna go to the van and actually get on. Let's not be, let's not be that guy. There we go, all the PPE now. And let's get cutting. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna do that knockout now before I have to. So let's do that knockout. Jobs are good in. That was fun. <sighs> Bloody knockout got knocked out as well. There, that should all be covered by the trunking. So that is fine. <sighs> Let's get some grommet strip out. Eye that off and get that on there. Try not to get super glue all over our fingers, eh? I can't even get the grommet strip off the super glue on. It's a little bit excessive, but just makes it a touch better. It was all going so well. I've made a little boo boo. Any of you eagle-eyed viewers would have seen. Obviously, yeah, that knockout fell out, but that's fine. It's well within the um, conduit drunk in, so that's fine. Obviously, once the lid's on, you won't be able to keep your fingers in it, so that's perfect. That's all good. Super glued down, amazing. Boards on, solid, not going anywhere, level. Jobs are good and, yeah. Cables are going through, that's mint. He went to put my arm and gland in. Guess who um, knocked out a 25mm knockout and I needed 20? Idiot. So now I'm trying to like rack my brains of how I can get an armoured a 20 gland into a 25. I'm sure there's like a reducer or something, but I'll have a look. I need to go to screw fix because that's the only way the place that's open on a Sunday to get some and a white adaptable box for on the outside. So I'll have a look, see what I got, see what I can make work. Worst case scenario, I'll just bring the armoured out of the trunk in and bring it down next to it and then gland it straight into there, which Ain't a bad shout to be fair, I could just do that. Like, it's not the end of the world, but it's just annoying. Anyway, on from my boo-boo. We've got the RCBOs. I'm gonna get these in, terminated, and get some of these cables in. So, let's see what we can do. Right then, so we are a few days later. I did manage to finish the majority of this job off. There was just, I didn't do the conduit, which I'm looking at now for the garage switch, because I just ran out of time, I ran out of light. But yeah, I've been back today. Uh, been on a rewire for the start of this week. Me and Nick have smashed that out. So now I'm here finishing this off. The board's pretty much all done. Everything's powered up. I've done uh, some tests. The rest of the tests which are left are on the SWA, which is for the shed, which I'm wired in, then I've unwired it as such. So it's ready to be wired in um, after today, once I've completed in the shed. So then that will be done and then I'm not actually issuing the certificate yet for this fuse box as next week I'm going to be doing a adding another circuit into this fuse box which is going to be for the caravan like a trickle charge so I'll take that blank out and add a 20 amp in but this is the overall finish the only thing I have got to get is some 2.5 armoured cleats for the armoured like I said I did actually knock out the wrong knockout I did want to enclose it under the trunk in but stuff happens there's nothing wrong with it exactly the way I've done it it's just You've got a bit of a cable on show, but really you can't see it. So this is the overall finish. Like I was saying, just need a couple of cleats in that, and that's jobs are good in. Your conduit here, so that operates your light. Jobs are good in. Got the two switch sockets, verso socket, and then that's just a cheap lap screw fix one with the uh, USB ones on that like customer requested. Then this is your fuse board. So first, what's this? Third or fourth verso board are fitted really nice um cover goes straight on you don't have to wrestle it or bend the breakers and um, this is live at the minute i uh, just took it off to show you guys so the armored armoring is all done with a piranha on that's all tucked up out of the way and uh yeah jobs are good and really it's a nice little neat board gone around with all the fire sealant um caulking stuff all around the edges just to give it that extra little touch and then even around there and there all around the switches um, that is switch there operates the outside light out the front of the garage, which I'm actually replacing, hence that's just left off, but I've wired it back in to save any more damage on the ceiling. 
up there I've had a bit of fun with a top 25 mil conduit um, coupler the way this trunking is I don't know if you can see that it's like the it's not the standard just box trunking it's got the one with the chamfered edges so the conduit like entry points don't actually you have to sit them right forward and then you end up having to take a little bit of a notch out of the lid but I've taken a bit of the notch out notched it round it you still can't get your fingers in but then I've also sealed it just to make it that extra extra little touch but this is pretty much it for this fuse board I probably I've got to label it just need to get a brother label printer to label that off um, but yeah so this Verso fuse board might be a short little video but really nice enjoyable fuse board working in the garage bit of a wrestle i'll show you to be fair i'll show you outside i don't know how much of this i showed before but i had a bit of a wrestle so that's my 25 mil thingy there is loads of silicon there that's what i've had to do the customer said they're going to paint it white because i couldn't drill well i had to drill fairly close to the, that's your mains incoming cable that is i had to drill fairly close to it but there's nothing no way of getting around it and you don't want to hit that so i had to fit that big box that's this fuse box fitted um the verso accessories were used on the last video so cheers for verso for sending some of those out and uh, yeah really enjoyed fitting them so don't forget to like subscribe and like jazz and i'll see you on the next one which is going to be me in the shed at this property as well wiring up a well i've got two double sockets a fuse spur to down rate it for the lighting a bt14 in each shed there's two sheds so basically duplicate everything i've just said um, but I'm doing something a bit different, got some wood, going to mount it, and then I've got a two gang 20 amp isolator switch to isolate each shed, which I thought is just another little touch. Um, I'm just doing that off my back, it's not on the quote, nothing like that, I just want to try it. So yeah, I'm Versa using the Verso modular range, so let's give that a go. But you'll have to wait till next Sunday for that video, so thanks for watching, catch the next one, bye.